this is a kind of a revision from sec 2. So you need to know what is current. Earlier on, we have this, then we say there are positive, negative charges for this. Okay, so then out of those earlier sections, the takeaway is you need to know that the charge, the SI unit for charge is coulombs. Then the charge of a proton is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 coulomb. So the charge of the electron is the same, but then it's negative. That's what we need to know. Then coming to electricity, eh, then we must we must know how to state that the current is the rate of flow of charge. Okay, that means this section you need to, to state the definition of current. Then you must know that the unit for current is in amperes. So you need to, this is the definition. Then this is the unit for mm. current. So before that, it's some revision. You need to know the circuit symbols or at least the common ones. You For now, you don't need this. You don't need this. So if you have wires, right, then the black dot shows that they are joined. Then if it's like this with no black dot, that means they just cross over each other. Then you have the air meter, volt meter. These are all the common ones used. The cell, right, or the battery, right, the long side is positive, the short side is negative. Okay, then don't think this too, I don't think you, you will see it much. So the rest are more important. So you need to know what is an electric circuit. This is from primary school. So your an electric circuit is a complete or closed loop then which your electric charges can flow from one terminal to another. So from one positive terminal to negative terminal. So your this is the circuit, then charges can flow in that manner down there. Then you will have more pass through one or more than one electrical component. So this is an electrical component. Okay. <laughs> so the four main components in the electric circuit is number one, the electrical energy source, which is the battery. So what the electrical energy source does is to drive the charge around the circuit. So in your circuit, there is negative charges. Then the second thing is the load at which the moving charge can do a useful job. This is the load. Then the third component is the conductors to connect the components together. The wire is the conductor. And then the, this is, then the last one is number four, which is the switch. The switch open or close the circuit. So these are the four components of an electric circuit. So there are different types of electrical circuit type. The first one is an open circuit. Open circuit means there is a break in the circuit to, and it will stop current from flowing. The switch is open, so it's an open circuit. So when the current stops flowing, the air meter Air meter is to measure current. Air meter shows no reading, so no flow of current. Then the second type is a closed circuit. So there is a continuous conducting path. That means the wire is all joined up and your charges from your cell can flow continuously. So how to get the closed circuit is you switch. You close the switch here. So this will give you a closed circuit. Okay. Have you seen this kind of circuit before? It's a short circuit. No. Yeah. So this one, the closed circuit, right? The light bulb will come up and then the air meter, you'll see a reading. And you see a continuous loop. So for circuits to, for current to flow, right? There must be a continuous loop. So what happened here is like this. You see the battery, you see your ammeter, you see the this, this the resistor. Then you see a light bulb. Light bulb goes off. Uh. Light bulb is not on. Air meter shows no reading, but the switch is closed. I have a closed circuit here. Yeah. Then I have this this portion here that is looking weird. If you have something like this. You see a closed loop, but no no reading is found on the emitter and the light bulb is off. That means no current is flowing here. Then that means that car because there is another closed circuit here, which is the yellow one. So what happened is right, the current is flowing in here. So by attaching the wire A, right, you create a closed circuit on the left hand side and cause the current to flow there instead of where it's supposed to flow. So it becomes a short circuit. Then usually in short circuits, the current is very high. This is another short circuit. Can you identify the path at which the current in light bulb is off? Not, not lighting up, but the current, uh, the air meter shows a reading. Use the, use the pen function or the highlighter just highlight the path. 
where the current flow. Mm. So what happened is the current will flow through wire B. So it, this is also a short circuit. Okay. So if you want to measure current, just now you saw the ammeter. So this is the ammeter. So this is what you have, uh, ammeter. So number one thing, we need to define what is the electric current. So we have this circuit like this. Then we have the light bulb. Then we put ammeter here. So in the circuit, right, there is a lot of charges, which is your electrons. Or maybe you can say it's charges. So we just call it charges charges in the packet like that. So this charge, right, will move like that. Charge will move And like not that. move from negative side to the positive side. Uh, yes, it is. That's why I say charges because electrons will move in the opposite direction. And the real current, right, current is actually caused by the negative charges moving, the electrons moving. So it's these ones are going this way. Okay, so what happened now is to, to define the electric current, what happened is I, I will sit around okay, with a thing called the stopwatch. Then I imagine myself that I can actually see the charges moving. So then I go to my point in my circuit, say here, point X. Okay, so I will sit there and watch how many electrons, now how many charge move past, how many charges passes by X in one second. So I take, take the stopwatch and then I start and then I count how many charges move past X. Then I stop after one second, then I take the number down. That is the rate of flow of electric charge. So current is actually me, it, it, you can imagine that, that it as someone sitting down there checking how many charges move past a point in one second. Okay, So that is measured in amperes or coulombs per second. That means it's how many coulombs passes by in one second. The current can be measured using an ammeter, which is this. Okay, so the formula for electric current is current is equals to charge divided by time. Okay, yeah. So you if you want to find I, I, you cover I and you get Q divided by T. Then if you want to find T, you cover T, you get Q divided by I. Then if you want to find Q, you use I times T, that triangle magic. Then this is a setup in 2D. You measure measure current using the air meter. So the air meter must be connected in series. So you if you connect in series, then you have a loop like this, a closed loop. And what you do is your positive terminal of the air meter connected to the positive terminal of the battery. You see? Then this negative terminal here will be connected to the negative terminal here. So if you want to measure current of a circuit, you do this setup. The switch there is to control on and off of current. Then the light bulb is to indicate that whether there is current flowing in the circuit. Or not. So if there is current flowing in the circuit, the light bulb will light up and the air meter should move. Then if, if you connect the air meter wrongly, you will find that the air meter here, the needle will move in the negative direction. So your point, you will flow the full deflection, you will end up like that. Uh, the zero mark is here, then maybe say 10. Okay. Then what happened is the what will happen to the what will happen if you connect the meet air meter in the opposite direction is right it will go here the the meet the needle will move here instead of going to the correct place. Then you switch this term in this wires around here. But don't you don't have practical right now, so I don't think you have a chance to do this. Okay, so that how that's to measure the current.